Hello, my name is Michael Kibler of Kibler's Typewriter Company, and today I'd like to show you a new addition to my typewriter collection. This little beauty here is, so I can get the case off, a Hammond folding multiplex. Serial number? F-235548 made in the 1920s. Now, this little beauty is amazing. I mean, Hammonds in the first place are just amazing machines by themselves, but the innovation that uh, Hammond came up with this time was to make the keyboard fold over like this and the space bar fold over to make it a small light compact machine that could be taken almost anywhere and could fit almost anywhere with all the features of a full-sized office machine now Hammond is what you call a full a uh, full Nah, excuse me, single element typewriter. That means is it all the type is on one single piece. This is called a type shuttle, which was made of in the earlier days of Hammond, made out of vulcanized rubber, or when the Varia types came out, made of uh, some metal, it's probably uh, steel, and. Uh, they last forever, they're great, and this eliminates any of the jamming type bars that you have with conventional machines such as uh, Remington or Underwood or what have you. I'm just going to read all the decals off right now. I love the mu Multiplex. It's such a great machine, you'll find out why in a second. It says, Multiplex made in the United States of America, Hammond and uh, for all nations and tongues, which was Hammond's slogan. You can see it there. And uh, on the back, you have another decal. It says, this machine is protected by American and foreign patents. And uh, it's a really great machine. In fact, my favorite typewriter is probably the mechanical variant type, just because all the great features, such as double shift for figures and caps. I'll show you that down here, the keyboard. figures, caps, has a QWERTY keyboard, uh, backspace, two uh, optional two color ribbon, um, it's on some of the models, not all of them. And um, this multiplex is called the multiplex because it has the ability to change typefaces or type shells very very quickly and rapidly. And uh, before I show you that, I'm going to show you how this machine works. So let's say, press key, let's use B. Now, you press B, the uh, the uh, type shuttle, oh that's not bad, that's a bad key, it doesn't swing a lot. Yeah, this has not been oiled in a while, I have to take care of that. Alright, there we go. So, what happens is this type shuttle will swing, uh, to the appropriate letter and then this hammer in the back will push the impression strip and the ribbon and the paper up against the type the shuttle and um, that causes an even impression because the, ham the hammer goes um, equally, it hits equally, and when you're pushing back the carriage, it winds both the mainspring back here and the uh, hammer back here. And so I thought that was interesting. Um, in order to put on a shuttle, lift the 
and Bilal. I'll give you a close up here. Oh, by the way, I made this impression strip right here. And if you have any uh, questions about that, I can sell them to you. Uh, Fifteen, twenty dollars, depending on my supplies. But these are brand new, handcrafted impression strips. So anyway, you have your type shuttle. Make sure it's oriented right so that all the letters are facing up. This one is upside down right now. So there, all up. And what you want to do is place the uh, type, the uh, <laughs> the shut the anvil. This is called the anvil. Anvil up. And uh, see this little hole right here? Push the cur one you have in back that allows you to stick that here and slide around until it lines up. The center lines up with the center line right here. Push the other one back. Give it top view here. Make sure everything's all centered up. Boom. In order to change your uh, font, because this is a multiplex, you can do that. Just turn it around. And make sure everything's lined up correctly before dropping it. Oh, that's what's wrong. There we go. And it still works the exact same way, just with a new typeface, a new shuttle. Now, Hammond made literally hundreds of different styles of shuttles, uh, different languages, different. Um, different fonts, different sizes even and uh... yeah, it did great languages great different styles uh... it's a lot more comprehensive than like you find on Microsoft Word it's really a great machine to have and uh, I now have three hands speaking of my personal collection I am making I'm writing a book on Hammonds uh, it's going to be called For All Nations and Tongues, and uh, it's going to be like it's going to be a little bit similar to uh, the Five Pound Secretary by uh, Robert Paul Robert and uh, Blickensurfer, the descendant of Blickensurfer, and it's going to be uh, about a couple hundred pages, and going to have information on all the models. And I'm still doing research for it, but I've gotten a lot done so far, and uh, I look forward to seeing that in about a year or so and it's going to be great alright so let's do a little typing test oh by the way this right here locks the cap caps excuse me for a second sometimes in the Hammond the ribbon shield will get caught in the shuttle and keep the shuttle raised like that and probably just needs a little more oiling. I mean, I just got this, so I'll definitely be uh, servicing this. But it works great after almost a hundred years, ninety some years of uh, storage. And uh, yeah, great machine. All right, so let's do some typing. There's no paper in it because the ribbons dried out, and it takes a long time to. Change the ribbon. It's unfortunate that all the serial number database, the serial numbers are lost in history. And uh, because it'd be really nice to have a account of that for my book. come to the end of the line 
And the plane is in pretty good condition. It's uh, a little dusty, a little dirty. Yeah, you can see some right there. But, uh, yeah, it's a great machine. Built by great inventor, James B. Hammond. Who, uh, if he's a very interesting man. Look him up online sometime. The New York Times newspaper has um, a ton of stuff on him. Very great guy. You'll see a lot of him in my book, For All Nations and Tongues. And yeah, if there are any questions or any comments you'd like to make on this video or about typewriters in general, just uh, drop them on my YouTube page or the, this video page or uh, shoot me an email. My email is listed on my website, which will be listed on this video or uh, in the video description, rather. And um, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. This has been a Kibler's Typewriter Company video production. And until next time, see you later.